balls. You need to get these nice and tight. We got to burn the fat that's sitting on top of them, and we got to get those abs that we're longing for. So I've got eight exercises in this workout, and we're gonna do 30 seconds on and 10 seconds off. Let's get going. Wait for our timer. So we're gonna do start off with a standing side touch. Well, I call this a standing by crunch. Just gonna do one leg for 30 seconds. And when you pull away, you should get that pull there. Squeeze in, pull away. Get those love handles. I don't need no muffin tops this winter over our pants. Legless. What you're gonna do is gonna keep your upper body and just bring your legs up. Try not to move your upper body a whole lot, just a little bit, and bring those legs up to it. You're really gonna be working that lower part of your abs. Try and keep those legs straight. Try to keep them off the ground. You're gonna feel it. The other side with the crunch. Feel that other side tightening up. Love handle. Got the sun in my eyes. <laughs> sun starts to go down so early now. Such a shame. Gonna get back on our butts. Gonna do some in and outs. So this time, we're going to bring your knees, you're going to be able to bend your legs. Bend your knees towards your chest. Yes. Again, don't be back too much. You want to really just be using your core to pull in those legs. And you can put your hands by your ears if you want. You can put them out. We're going to be doing standing toe touch. We're going to do one leg. So opposite leg to opposite arm. You just want to touch it. Pull that leg in. Get up as high as you can. Get that core tight. Alright. Do some mountain climbers. You all know these. Get your plank. Bring your knees up. Other side for that toe touch. It's the opposite leg to what you were doing before. You're gonna feel this. It looks easy, but it's not. 
bring it as high as you can. Don't pull hip or anything, but try and get it up to your arm. Get back on our backs. Get your butt off. Put your hands under your butt. Pulse those hips up. You don't want to let your legs swing forward. You don't want to swing them to get them up. You want to pop it up with your core. Pop. Don't do any swinging. If you're like me and it hurts your back, put your hands underneath your spine. That was one round. Get a tiny sip of water. We're going to do it again. So, don't drink too much water. You don't want to hear that moving around in your stomach. Right. Standing inside crunch. Those love handles, yeah. We hate them. Let's crush them. And I don't know why they call them love handles. Because we don't love them. I certainly don't. But if I am to gain weight anywhere, that's the first place it would go. So, I do these things a lot. I'm going to do a leg lift. Remember, lift those legs straight towards your chest. Don't bend the knees. Get that lower part of your abs. This one's hard. You're gonna feel it. Try not to drop your legs or your back. Other side. Side crunch. You know what to do. Bring it. For beginners, this is a great way to start with your abs. So you're able to do some of it standing up. And it's really not a crazy amount of effort that goes into it. You know, it's you'll feel it, but it's not it's not one of the craziest ones. So we're gonna go with the in and out. Heels out, bring them back in. All right, I'm gonna do the standing toe touch. I'm starting with my left leg. You're really twisting. Your torso when you're bringing your arm towards that toe. And then you're swinging it back. Sorry, distracted. Mount Flyers. Get it up to your chest. Feeling it. 
other side. And touch the bill. Stay focused, eat clean, and stay tuned. 